couple beautiful handmade gifts has arrived at Rocky Pine Retreat. Check it out. Look how beautiful, handmade. Thank you, Christine. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous basket that you can use for all kinds of things. I chose candy. Come on by and choose some candy from the basket, guys. You're welcome. I have some tea in here that she sent. Can't wait to try this out. Woo! Very nice. Pretty little note was adorned with daisies. And I love the colors. She chose black as a trim. Many of you know I have a lot of uh, metal black trim and the thread, the darker thread in here matches the outside of Rocky Pine Retreat perfectly. Not sure that she knew that as she was doing that, but she wrote that in the note. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And then from Dear friends, Mary and Shirley, look how cute, guys. It's kitty cats. Sent me a beautiful card. Shirley crocheted these. I think it's crochet. I don't know, crochet or knitting. <laughs> how beautiful. Some pot holders, some dishcloths. I love it. And Mary, always looking out for my health, a uh, lovely retired nurse, sent me some vitamins, a beautiful angel. I put this on top of a, or in between, a, a picture frame in my office. Sent me some more Juice Plus. A lovely quote, do not wait until the conditions are perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. Couldn't agree more. And this little bag of three clippies. Look guys, how beautiful for the Say It, Display It line. I have two put away right now because I have other clippies out. As you can see here on the window seal, I have two. Then I have the actual set on a stand. But I thought, uh, how lovely. So I love the color. Looks like sunshine balls. So yes, so grateful for the new gifts. Thank you. I've got to show you something else new. Hope you'll join me. serene and simple life headed out to mail a package a little bit later this is a say it display it two collections the entrepreneur and the growth collection one with the display stand and one without check it out say it display it.com and I want you to take a close look here well you don't have to take a too close of a look <laughs> I made two changes to the tiny cabin. Now stop the video and put in the comments, do you see what the changes are? Do you see any changes? And my hint is you don't have to look too closely. Okay, change number one. I tilted the, the big, the big uh, chair here. It's a catnapper. I tilted it. It was straight on against the wall and this was uh, butt up against the refrigerator. So now I've got a nice little space. Have no idea why I didn't think of that sooner. 
but at least I thought of it. I'm like, I was really kind of uncomfortable, and I noticed that in the tiny home tour, uh, you know, which is still going on. Um, the entire tiny house tour uh, will be on uh, Sunday. Then you can go back to the playlist. It's a series of five. But I, ha I had commented, you know, that my entertainment was smack dab across from the chair. And I never liked, like, looking straight on. So I was like, well, dang, Linda, just tilt your chair. So I did. <laughs> Beautiful nature noises this morning. Come on, guys, give us a song. Slant would be a better word than tilt. <laughs> I think tilt is when you put it on its side, right? <laughs> Number two. I put one of the uh, photo boards on each side of the albums. I did something else up here. It's actually three changes in all. Did you notice? Let me show you what I did up above. So I moved the albums over more like a... I don't know, a little off to the off to the center focal. I've got I wanted to leave one little space open. I didn't want to make it perfectly centered. I think I need to move these couple albums to show you the finished design. I wanted to do something fun and I think for the summer months having this window covered will uh, maybe stop less heat coming in because the sun really beats in that window as much as I liked it. But I decided to make like a look that you really can't see from down below, but it's kind of like a cozy, I don't know, kind of like a cozy cabin up there, a cozy cave. So what do you think? I just, just ruffled a blanket and a bedspread that I had that I absolutely love those colors. And uh, yeah, if someone were to want to sit up here, they've kind of already got a sitting place. So I think that's kind of fun. If I were to do it again, I would have gotten a blind for that window, but I didn't and I'm not gonna get one now because if that day comes when I go to sell, now you can choose your own blind. <laughs> so there you have it. Just a little mini today. I'm going to try out some minis from time to time. The saying of the day yesterday, God is preparing you for something. And then from my step stool, it's an overview of Rocky Pine, up close and personal and high up. Yeah. Blessings in your day. And joy in whatever it is that you decide to do. And of course, as always, as always, Joy in the journey. They're singing out here. One more thing later in the day. Do you see it? It's a new decoration, a new focal point on the other side of Rocky Pine. Actually, this is not new. I purchased this at Hobby Lobby when I was working there in Arizona, Scottsdale to be exact, years ago. I love it. And I had that placed in the window up in the loft. I don't know, just for like an accent piece and the light came through it. So now that I've got that window covered and I'm also 
utilizing another one of the clippies. I really like them. It's my grocery list and another to do behind it. I'm gonna be getting my hair cut. I'm excited. Not short, but cut. Please subscribe, click the bell, and share with your friends if you'd like to see the new do. Later.